गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट फीचर्स ऑफ कॉस्मेट इन रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो इन रिकॉम्बिनेंट डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी कॉस्मेट इज यूज्ड एज अ वेक्टर so we have seen in the last lecture that plasmid is also used as a vector so cosmid is actually a hybrid vector it is formed by the combination of cos sequence of lambda fudge and plasmid dna of bacteria so it contains two parts one is the sequence of lambda fudge that is called cos sequence of lambda fudge and another is the plasmid dna of bacteria let's see the features of a cosmid vector so a cosmid vector has two such cos sites so these two cos sites we have taken from virus that is bacteriophage and cos sites are long dna fragments of 200 base pairs they have sticky ends so there are two cos sites and they have sticky ends that means these cos sites can join together like plasmid it has origin of replication or ori and this ori is taken from plasmid it ensures independent replication in bacterial cell just like plasmid that we have seen in plasmid so plasmid can replicate in bacterial cell this cosmid also can replicate in bacterial cell like plasmid it has mcs that is multiple cloning sites so mcs is also taken from plasmid so we know that if we want to insert a foreign gene in a vector we need this mcs because we can cut the mcs by using restriction enzyme and we put our gene of interest or dna of interest so like plasmid it has an antibiotic resistance gene specifically ampicillin resistance gene is used in this case that is found from plasmid and it is used as a selectable marker that means it can tell you whether a bacterial cell got its vector or not that we can see from this antibiotic resistance gene or this is the selectable marker you can say so the use of selectable marker we have seen in the last lecture so these are the things that a cosmid vector has so it has two cos sites which have sticky ends these cos sites are generally joined and it has origin of replication it has mcs and it has antibiotic resistance gene used as selectable marker okay now how cosmid works in our dna technology that is very important to understand so to clone large piece of dna into cosmid vector both must have compatible sticky ends okay let's see the diagram here you can understand better here so this is the cosmid vector okay you can see that this is the cos site 1 and this is the cos site 2 that i have already told that a cosmid vector contains two cos sites so these are two cos sites and these are joined together in between this cos site it has one re1 that is the restriction enzyme digestion site so re1 or restriction enzyme one restriction enzyme can cut this place okay and it has the ampicillin resistance gene that i have told it has ori that i have told and it has one more restriction enzyme cut site that is another restriction enzyme cut site that is re2 so this is the construct and in this re2 we have the mcs that means here we can insert the gene of interest so here we have the 
M C S. Sorry for the writing. Actually, my writing pad is not working well. And here we have the target DNA or source DNA that we want to insert in the cosmic vector. So first thing, what we will do? We will linearize this cosmic. How? We will put the restriction enzyme one. When we put restriction enzyme one, the restriction enzyme one will cut here, and it will be linearized. So you can see, in the left end it is cos, then Re two, then Ore, then Ampor, then cos, like this. And mind it that two cos sides are uh, giving you the sticky ends. Next, next what we want to do? Next, you digest this linear cosmic by using Re two restriction enzyme two. So this is the Re two site. So here the restriction enzyme will cut. Then we have this cos site, this site, and then the remaining site. Okay. So this is the case. We have now two fragments of this linear cosmic, right? And now we have the source DNA. So what we will do? We will digest this source DNA with Re two. This Re two and Re two are same. The same restriction enzyme we should use to cut the cosmic and to cut the target DNA. Then only it is possible to insert this source DNA, right? So it will cut the DNA and we will get some fragments. So suppose the Re two cuts here. And here, that means we have three fragments here, and this is the part. This is the gene of interest or GOI. This is the part that we want to insert in the cosmic vector. The whole target DNA we don't want to insert, right? We want to insert a particular part of that. So this is the gene of interest. Next, what we will do? We will ligate. We will just ligate using ligase, ligase enzyme. So here is the cut here is the mcs i have already told this is the mcs and in this mcs this goi will be inserted okay okay next is packaging in bacteriophage so we will take a bacteriophage and we will insert this construct in the bacteriophage and here is the construct the same construct we have seen here this is the construct so this is the linear cosmic in the bacteriophage so it is now ready now we will take some bacterial cell just like plasmid we have taken bacterial cell as a host while we are using plasmid and uh, we inserted the plasmid in the bacterial cell the process was called transformation just like that what we will do we will infect the bacterial cell by using this bacteriophage and this linear cosmic will come inside the bacterial cell inside the bacterial cell it will be circularized by using these two cos sites because i have told you that the cos sites have sticky ends so using these two cos sites this linear cosmic will become circularized and whenever it is circularized it will be replicated because it has ori this is the ori so it will be replicated along with the gene of interest that is the funda so if we uh, want to check that the cosmic vector is first linearized by using restriction enzyme 1 re1 so that each end has a cos site then the linear cosmic is cut with restriction enzyme 2 which generates sticky ends the target dna is also digested by using same re2 re digested target dna and cosmic are mixed and joined using ligase the final constructs are packaged into lambda particles and are used to infect bacterial cell inside bacterial cell linear cosmic is circularized using two cos sites circularized cosmid is ready to replicate 
So everything I have explained. Now why is it preferred over plasmid for gene cloning? So plasmids are able to contain a foreign DNA fragment of very small size that is 25 kb length. While cosmids are able to contain a foreign DNA fragment of 45 kb, this is a bigger fragment. Hence, cosmids are useful in cloning to clone larger fragments of DNA since plasmid vectors cannot clone large fragments. So if you want to clone a large fragment, you have to use the cosmid instead of plasmid. This is first thing that we prefer. Cosmid over plasmid. Next, gene cloning through cosmid helps in the study of nonsense sequence of the genome of an organism. Actually, we know that the nonsense sequence contains the junk DNA and always the junk DNA is very bigger in size. Since we can use cosmid to clone bigger sequence, we use this thing for the junk DNA also and we can study the nonsense sequence or junk DNA for the research purpose. Next is the transformation efficiency is comparatively less in plasmid and high in cosmid. This leads to efficient cloning because when we do transformation using bacterial cell and plasmid, it takes uh, several methods and it is not always successful. But when we use this bacteriophage to infect a bacterial cell, this is very natural process, very natural process because this is a virus. Virus tends to infect bacterial cells. This is much more natural process and it is very much efficient. So the success rate is high in this case. So this is the Fanda. Uh, so this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to collect the PDF notes of this topic, please check the description box or first pinned comment. Thank you.